Well, to prepare for FTPA, I really did some research, um, dove into, you know, what FTPA asked for, the things I needed to know that were required of me, and also looked into the curriculum for the classroom that I was going to be in. I needed to know what my students were going to need to know, where they were going to be, any kind of pacing guides, those kinds of things. Before I got started with the writing, um, a little over a week. The first week I was in the school, I really dove into that kindergarten curriculum that I was going into because that was one thing that I'd never worked with. Um, really asked questions to my teacher, got to know the kids because that's your main focus is really trying to help the students. Um, and the county I was in did a lot with a certain blessing planning, so I had to learn that too. Make a schedule and stick to it. Um, that's about the best advice I can give. Set yourself deadlines and make sure that you're not, oh, I'll get to it tomorrow, or no, I'll have time. Like, if you get yourself a schedule, really stay to it, because that's the only way that you'll be able to keep yourself on track and not be missing deadlines. Oh yeah, I looked at that for everything. Anytime I wrote something, I always checked my rubrics to make sure I was falling into the categories that I needed to be in. I checked back on my work to make sure that I had everything that they were asking me for. Any materials that needed to be in there, I always referenced that handbook. It broke everything down very well. I had quite a few girls that were in my school, so we always, you know, if we had a chance during the day or during planning or something like that, you know, we'd stop and, hey, have you done this? Have you done that? Always use your peers as a reference because they're going through it with you too, so you can bounce ideas off of each other. Any work days that you have at the school, always come back and do that because that was a huge help to set that time aside that we could talk to each other and help each other out and look over it together. One of the interns, the clinical teacher, had gone through it one semester, so she was a big help too. She kind of understood the process, but for the most part, it's fairly new to everybody. Listen when your professors are talking. Any kind of research that you ever come across, anything you talk about in class that you find that may be helpful, keep it. Um, research is a big part of EdTPA, and the more you have built up, the better it's going to be. Anytime I ever had any questions, most of the time I came to you, but you are our expert, but also refer to your friends because sometimes any peers that you're working with, they may understand something differently than you do and you can kind of bounce ideas off of each other from that. It really opened my eyes up into teaching and it also helped me because I got a job right out of my internship and I find myself with my students now, you know, saying, well, how can I make this better? And, you know, they didn't quite understand my directions. What did I mess up and how can I go back and fix what I was saying to really help the kids understand? And I think that's one thing, you know, EdTPA taught us. You have to go back and really reflect on what you're doing to make sure that your kids are understanding. So it's really carried over into my teaching. I think I should have taken a little more responsibility. We knew it was coming to, you know, prepare myself for it. Um, and really, like I said, taking more time to dive into it and read examples of people that have been released to turn in, those kinds of things, just to understand what we were looking for. It's a lot of hard work, but internship will be the best semester ever. It's worth it.